Hello there and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be sharing with you some old school or you can say vintage sketchbook drawing ideas. So here comes the first drawing and I thought of my olden days when I was a kid we used to watch movies and stuff when, not in a laptop or on a laptop screen or uh, anywhere else we used to watch it on TV with olden cassette or uh, CD there used to be CDs and stuff CDs I guess they still exist but not so much it is rarely seen nowadays so I thought of bringing my memories back with doing some CDs and I just did it uh, randomly and um, with different colors not with a particular color or with particular rainbow colors that those CDs give us so it is all into me that I just used these colors and I did orange and yellow and a mixture of that in uh, the first CD and the second one I did a bit differently to get that mixture I want some rays some lines in them with lighter shades and darker shades of blue I used a bit of darker blue some light blue some darker tones and light tones and then blended them so that the lines aren't that much visible I used wet and wet techniques on them and it is all upon you which color you want or you want big series or smaller ones you can do the realistic ones it is all illustrative and it is nothing to do much with the reality of the series so we actually used to watch movies or cartoons through the series when uh, those internet and everything was in that famous in that era so I belong to that millennium period or you can say old school type and then I started doing some outline for the first I actually messed up because I was in too hurry and started outlining the black on the wet ones and then I did some small, some small CDs and uh, just to wrap up the page or you can say if there is a word to wrap up the page okay I just messed my words up so just to fill in the page and not to make it all uh, plain so I did some colorful series back again outlining them with a black paint and then coloring them up with different different colors you can actually use one cut for the next drawing I came up with the idea of doing a telephone I thought of doing two telephones at one space and I gave it the color red and those telephones are really vintage telephones that's so called though I did not witness this kind of telephones in my uh, um, younger days or something like that but I feel those are really vintage and those dial buttons are also vintage the way they rounded and I really have no idea how they do it and how the calls are being made in this I witnessed those landlines where you uh, press the buttons or something like that but yeah those are kind of really vintage telephones and I did the color red I chose the color red over them because I feel I don't know I just feel those might be of red most of them yeah that's what i saw or have an idea since my childhood that 
telephones are to be read i don't know how you guys feel it about it but i just gave it red it's only red some lighter tones and uh, with adding with more water and yeah that's how it is made i just outlined them first with pencil so that it is easier for me to paint them on top and it's actually a great idea to do with pencil first as i have said earlier in my earlier videos that doing it with a pencil is quite easy to outline them and uh, i did both the telephones in red one is just picking up and another one is just on hold and then doing the dial with black brush or paint and uh, then the wire is coming around round and round yeah that's it i guess so i kind of like the telephones and yeah so i just gave a finishing touch for the telephone as it is ringing and to the other one um it might be thinking of ringing and that's the final outcome so here is the next one and i just thought of doing some cars some vintage cars so i just did three cars in one space i outlined them first with pencil and then doing the watercolors i thought of doing different shades of green and then suddenly i popped into purple i don't know why and it did not suit it, the greens yeah and uh, not liking the color combination here and i quite messed up with the black and the green windows and uh, yeah i'll be correcting them if i can once it gets dried up so that's the matter with watercolors you really have very less control over them yeah i just i'm just messing up so i'll be correcting them i hope when it becomes dry so i'm into the second one and i thought of just making it plain with the green i am green not green with the yellow and orange though i'm not actually a really big fan of cars um, I, I have really less i guess nothing no knowledge about cars i'm not a fan of cars or anything like that i just thought of doing them so as to get that vintage feel of that era those cars those um fantasy cars or whatever you can call them i guess no it's there aren't fantasy cars so i just did a little of light and dark blue combination here and finally the wheels the black wheels are here to come and yeah that's to an end of three and now i'm into the first one and correcting them up i just did a darker shades of green so that i could at least cover the black which just got spread out due to my negligence yeah and uh, yeah, i'm just covering the lighter shades also with the darker ones so that at least it looks kind of okay yeah it did not turn out to be good but that's okay at least doing something is better than nothing so i just corrected them we should correct our own mistakes yeah that's what it is so here i am to the next one and i thought of doing some antique or vintage style clock where it is covered in a wooden box or something like that with a pendulum so i'm just giving that rustic or you can say the wooden feel of that box 
I just did it randomly I did not outline anything over here and it's just free hand I used over here and it's just to have fun with the colors and it doesn't have to be perfect or something like that yeah that is because it's just a sketchbook no one is going to look at it or assume it or it is your sketchbook you need to have fun with it or have a great time doing your sketches or uh, yeah that's it it is not a canvas or something like that that people will notice you people will what call judge you or something like that so it is your book you just have to have that feel or let your hobby come out or yeah that's it and i did the clock now with some yellow darker yellow though it isn't visible that much over here so yeah and that is up with the clock and finally our pendulum is ready or going to be get going to get ready with the black ones and just outlining the yellow with black just to give that rustic look it's just random lines yeah you can make your things perfect or it can be imperfect that doesn't matter it is your book it is your sketchbook it is the way you feel it so that's the final outcome and I hope you guys like it so with that we come to an end of this session and I hope you guys like it and just keep trying your best to achieve your hobbies and stuff and keep watching me and take care till the next time